Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get paid to drive, 10 different ways, websites you can go to, apps, all that stuff. The first one is Postmates and they pay you to deliver not only food like you would from restaurants but also drinks, groceries, and all kinds of different stuff that you know you would normally have to go to the store to get. Um, so you can deliver in a lot of these major cities here in the US and you can again deliver stuff that is food and things from like a gas station or like a convenience store groceries and those types of things so Postmates is one where you can deliver all kinds of stuff another one is favor and favordelivery.com is the website. Um, you can deliver food through this. You can get the app as well and just run everything through the app. They're in a lot of cities, especially in Texas right now. So if you're in Texas, this would definitely apply to you. And you can basically deliver local favorites, all kinds of different food and stuff. Um, and you can also have errands run. So that's kind of what sets them apart is you can get errands done. Um, you know, normally you might have to go to like another type of app like TaskRabbit or something like that to get an errand run like to Target or Walmart or something, but they actually do that for you as well. So they'll deliver you uh, your dinner or breakfast or something and also pick up something at the store for you. So again, you can get the app at Google Play or the Apple Store or just text the um, put the number in at the website and they'll uh, help you download it that way. Another one is Instacart and um, Instacart is a grocery delivery service so they specialize in like well you can see Petco, you have Safeway, you have these different ones out there and you might get groceries from all kinds of different places and instead of having to go and figure out a specific service where a lot of them don't do delivery yet a lot of them like Walmart Kroger um, they just have a thing where they will they'll they'll put your um, order together but you still have to drive over there and park in a certain area and they put it in your trunk and then you can go home so instead of that, you can use something like Instacart and they will actually deliver it for you from a number of different uh, grocery stores and convenience stores. So Instacart.com is the website and you can also look up the app where you can uh, pretty much run all this from. So here's the Android app real quick and it's very highly rated, almost four and a half stars. and again you're just delivering groceries another one is shipped and they are another one that allows you to uh, basically deliver groceries or deliver other things from local stores they have an app that covers pretty much everything for you and very similar to the others but they are mostly going to be for groceries and those types of things so you can get shipped on the website s-h-i-p-t dot com and you can also get the app in whatever app store that you use another thing you can do is work for Amazon Amazon pays you about eighteen to twenty five dollars an hour um, all these of course have flexible hours but they pay you for Amazon Flex to deliver Amazon packages you're basically delivering uh, boxes for Amazon on people's doorstep and then leaving that's it you don't have to you don't have to talk to anyone you don't have to hand to anything to anyone all you do is you pick up the package from like a fulfillment center and then you drive it and deliver it on someone's doorstep press a few buttons on the app and then do your next order you're your own boss you have the availability to work seven days a week they do allow you to work on Sundays I know a lot of mail does not go out on Sunday but they let you do that on Sunday as well and so if you've ever seen like a package from Amazon delivered from just like a regular car there's a good chance it was an Amazon flex driver so you can go to flex.amazon.com to sign up for that just click the get started button 
Another one is Grubhub, and Grubhub is for meals getting delivered from restaurants. And obviously there's a bunch of them that compete in this space, but Grubhub is one of them out there. They have a ton of traffic and they have quite a few. Um, obviously they're more limited to major cities. Um, and you can see the different cities in the bottom of the main page and click the show more uh, section to see where else they order to, they uh, deliver to but uh, they have things like Burger King Pizza Hut Denny's Church's Chicken Papa John's etc all types of different uh, cuisines that you can order from and all of that and of course you run all this you uh, you deliver and you get paid and you uh, order from the app you can have them text you the app or download it in the Google Play or Apple App Store DoorDash is another one. DoorDash is uh, a lot of people I know's favorite one to use right now because typically they have the most options. Uh, DoorDash.com is the website. You can also just get the app on Android or Apple devices. And you can see four and a half stars out of 188,000 plus ratings on Android. And they have all sorts of food. You can get steaks, you can get Japanese food, you can get Vietnamese noodles. You can get all kinds of stuff that you might want to get um, delivered. And DoorDash probably has the most to choose from. So if you want a lot of work and you are willing to uh, drive a little extra and uh, things like that, then you can do DoorDash because they actually have... a uh, more range on a lot of their cities as well so more restaurants typically more driving range is what you get with doordash another one is uber eats they do pretty well as far as range as well so you know if you don't live right in the middle of the city you still might be able to get uber eats to deliver food to you from restaurants near you they don't have usually as much to choose from as far as partnered restaurants as you would get from DoorDash, but they're typically like a good second place when it comes to these types of apps. You can get it for both Android and Apple devices as well, of course. And you know, they're all very highly rated. And Uber Eats is just a branch off of Uber, which allows you to, you know, uh, take people from point A to point B but this is the, uh, the restaurant side of it. So if you just want to deliver food instead of having people in your car and having to deal with that, this might be a little bit easier if you're not really like a talkative person. Another thing you can do is, of course, regular Uber. You can sign up and drive. Click the Sign Up to Drive button here on the uber.com page, and you can basically get paid through the app and find people on the map all that stuff is within the app you build a profile and you take people from point a to point b as kind of like a freelance taxi service uh, you just have to meet the background check requirements and your uh your vehicle requirements it has to be like a four-door vehicle of uh not too old things like that and then last but not least is lyft which is the main competitor to uber some people say that they actually pay more, but they're still not quite probably as uh, popular as Uber yet. Uber still has more traffic and probably more users still, but Lyft is a close second and they've really been doing everything they can to close the gap and hopefully pass Uber. You know, at least that's what they want to do one day. So whatever you want to do those are 10 different ones that you can make money from just from driving so hopefully this was helpful for you and i'll see you in the next video